Welcome to episode 3 of the Mechanics Guide. In this episode we'll be taking a closer look at the fuselage. The fuselage has four uses. One, it houses the crew, passenger and most of the aircraft systems. Two, represents the main structural link between the wing and the tail. Three, attachment and installation of engines. Four, it includes the pressurization system for a comfortable flight. The fuselage consists of three things. Nose section, center section and the rear section. There are three fuselage construction types. Truss type, monocoque type and semi-monocoque type. The truss type is a rigid framework made of longitudinal tubes called longerons, joined together by lateral, vertical and diagonal members. Truss type members are usually constructed of steel aluminium alloys. They are connected together by either riveting, bolting or welding. Truss types constructions are limited to light aircraft fuselages. The fuselage skin is usually made out of thin gauge aluminium since it carries no load. Earlier aircraft types were often made of fabric and plywood. The monocoque type relies largely on the strength of the skin to carry the primary load. The skin must carry the primary stresses and keep the fuselage rigid. For a large diameter fuselage, this fuselage type would create a high weight penalty. Because for the skin to be able to do that, it would have to be very thick. So. It is limited to a narrow fuselage. The material used for the monocoque is high strength aluminium, specifically alloy AL2024. The semi monocoque type consists of frame, bulkheads, former, skin, longerons, and stringers. Longerons are usually extended across several frame members and help the skin support the primary bending loads. Longerons are made of aluminium alloys. Stringers are used in semi-monocoque fuselages. They are mainly used for giving shape to the fuselage and as attachment points for the skin. Stringers and longerons together support bending loads. Semi-monocoque fuselages are primarily constructed using alloys of aluminium and magnesium. Although Steel and titanium are sometimes found in areas of high temperature. Connections are accomplished with gussets, rivets, nuts, bolts, screws and welding. Note the following. A gusset is a type of connection bracket that adds strength. The advantages of the semi monocoque type are many. Bulkheads, frames, stringers and longer runs facilitate the design and construction of a streamlined fuselage that is both rigid and strong, spreading loads among these structures and the skin. Pressurization means that air is pumped in the cabin after takeoff, and therefore a difference in pressure between the air inside the cabin and the air outside are established. Pressurization causes significant stress on the fuselage structures and adds to the complexity of the design. Fuselage cycling from unpressurized to pressurized causes metal fatigue. To deal with the stresses of flight, nearly all pressurized aircraft are semi monocoques by design. Thank you for watching the fourth episode of the Mechanics Guide.